Hi everyone, Chris Tisdale here again. Thanks for tuning in. A common question that I get asked is, how do I give an engaging talk about mathematics? So I wanted to uh, center this video around ideas for giving good talks about mathematics or mathematical subjects. So I'm gonna share with you some ideas from a hero of mine, Paul Halmos who's one of the great mathematical expositors of the 20th century. So let me share my screen with you and we can have a look. Okay, so Paul Halmos, How to Talk Mathematics. This is a famous article that Paul wrote, I think in the uh, 1970s. And I read this article as a graduate student and it, I found it so useful because it gave me a guide on how to, um, mathematically communicate through a talk. So let's get straight to it. Here are Halmos's golden rules summarized from his article, How to Talk Mathematics. The first piece of advice is keep it short. Now, nobody likes it when a speaker goes over time. And Paul's suggestion here is that, let's say you wanted to give a 20 minute presentation. What you do is you prepare a 10 minute presentation and you can present it at a leisurely pace. That way it's, it's very unlikely that you'll go over time. Okay, if you have a 30 minute presentation, prepare a 15 minute talk and pre present it leisurely. Okay, uh, less is more. You don't have to talk about every, every detail. The next piece of advice, keep it simple. Now by simple, Paul, Paul means keep it concrete and keep it special. Most people, when you're, when you're talking to them, and if they're not an expert in your field, they're working from simple cases or special cases. And you know, if you tell them that it generalizes to uh, more general cases, then they're, they're more willing to accept that, okay? Paul also makes the, the, asks the question, he says, have you ever been to a talk where you were really upset because the subject matter was too simple. Now, some people may say yes, but I would say the overwhelming majority would say no, because it's more accessible then. So keep it simple, keep it special, keep it concrete. The third piece of advice that Paul gives is make your talk flexible, make it flexible. Now, this is hard to do. Essentially, I, I interpret this as having a core element to your talk, which is absolutely essential, and then having extra bits, which is like icing on a cake, which you know you may not get to, it doesn't really matter if they're not talked about, but you know, for example, you might give your talk and you might have a mental blank and you spend too much time on one part of your talk. You need to have a flexible plan of action so that you can complete what you wanna complete in the, in the time allocation. So keep it flexible. Think about parts that are absolutely essential and parts that are non-essential, which you can take out. Now, point four is a really, really important point. Know your audience and engage with them, okay? How much background, how much mathematical background does your audience have? Are you giving a talk to specialists? in your area, or are they just people with some mathematical understanding but, but not specialized knowledge, or is it just talking to lay people? You need to think about that carefully because you need to adjust the level or the depth of ideas in your talk to suit your audience, okay? And really, the talk isn't about you, it's about the audience and it's about the subject matter, okay? And you, what you're trying to do, you're trying to connect the audience with the ideas, okay? And, and so think about the audience, really, really important. What is the aim of a talk? Well, the aim of a talk is to attract the audience to the area that you're working on, okay? So you always want to inspire or try to inspire and engage your audience. You know, if you're working on a difficult problem and, and you enjoy what you do and you want others to enjoy it too. So you wanna share it with them, share your passion for the subject, share your insight. They'll be asking the question, 
what does the speaker know that, that 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 we don't and moreover they've given up valuable time to come and listen to them that uh, listen to you speak so it's really important that you engage with them motivate them inspire them okay there is the five golden rules of Paul Halmos and giving talks. Keep it short, keep it simple, make it flexible, know your audience and engage with them, and the aim is to attract the audience to your area. What ideas do you have for communicating mathematics or, or any form of communication? If you have any tips, I would love to hear them. Put them in the comment section and uh, hope you enjoyed this presentation. Thanks again to Paul Halmos for inspiring me to, uh, to do this video. Thanks again, bye.